Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about handling the text box. Here you can see list of methods available to handle the text box. Is displayed means whether the particular text box is displayed in the application or not. Then is enabled means you can see the sample image here even though it is displayed but this particular text box is not enabled for validating this type of scenarios we use is enabled or not then send keys means entering the text inside this text box then clear which is used to clear the value which is already available or clearing the value which you have entered then get attribute means it is used to get the attribute value this get attribute you will understand when I say with practical example. This is a sample test case created for text box. We are going to use the Chrome browser once navigating to this URL. We are going to consider the first name field and going to implement all these methods. Whether the first name is displayed or not, it is enabled or not, then going to enter some value here, then going to clear it. After that, trying to retrieve the attributes value. Let's start the coding. We created class handling text box and completed the setup for Chrome web driver. After that, we are launching the URL. Once we are done with this, our step to identify the first name. So inspect. When you inspect the first name, attributes means these are all called attributes type name value class these all called as attribute so using that attribute method during runtime we can retrieve these value now let's decide the locator as i already said first priority must go to name locator for name locator the value is vfb-5 so pasted it you know very well driver dot find element by dot name inside the double quotes we have to give the value since we are going to do many operation on single web element in this example it's a first name so i am going to declare the object using web element interface web element and the object name is first name equal to the driver path value from now you no need to mention this full path you can mention just first name whenever you want to save the web element object you have to use web element interface as per the requirement the next step is to verify the first name is displayed for that we are going to use if condition if and we know this is variable contains the path first name dot is we have is displayed enabled and selected we have to go with is displayed then system dot out print and first name is displayed else as i already said we must give the else condition first name is not displayed next step is to verify whether the first name is enabled or not same way if first name dot is enabled first name is enabled i am passing the output value it is always a good practice in automation test case before entering the value instead of implementing is displayed try to implement is enabled if it is enabled then enter the value here first name dot to enter the value we use send keys within the double quote you can mention the name pranav this is like an hard coding the value so shall we parameterize it can you guess how to parameterize this is a string value so we have to use string data type first name val equal to i'm just giving the value here and passing the variable when we parameterize like this during 
when we merge our code with a framework then you no need to do any modification just mention this particular variable name so now dynamically we can pass the value after the the first name is entered as concordinating the variable first name val else first name is not enabled so we completed first three steps we will execute application launched maximized it is checking all the methods it got failed no such element exception it means it is unable to identify web element instead of name i have mentioned the class name that's the reason it is unable to identify it's a typo error so by dot name now we will execute so we have to be very clear while identifying the web element so one of the advantage i can mention here is in case if i mentioned this full path in here here in all the places then if i want to change any value here it means i have to update in the full code but now since i parameterized or declared it i just modified in a single location so that the below code is no need to update sometimes errors also help us to teach few concepts so one concept what we have learned no such exception element will come if unable to identify the object execute now it entered the value perfectly output here first name is displayed first name is enabled and the first name is entered as printout this value dynamically we are passing into the output message the next step is to get the value from the first name field this step is used to explain about the get attribute method first get attribute method means it is used to get the attribute of that particular field for example i am trying to get the attribute of id let's see what will be the output then we will go into the concept for the first name field dot get attribute inside this id we will try to print out this sys out let's see what will be the output for this run as java application application launched value is entered let's see the output here the output is vfb iphone 5 so the get attribute is used to retrieve the attribute value inside the input tag type name id value class everything is called as attributes and its value now as per our requirement we have to retrieve the value entered or the value which is present inside the first name for that we have to choose the value attribute here it is an empty but if you give value attribute whatever the value you are entering into this text box it will retrieve i can execute for value value this is for understanding purpose i'm commenting it now string first name text box give a meaningful variable name i'm doing the declaration now i'll pass this particular value the value present in the first name field is this one once we enter the value we have to clear the value for the first name dot clear output message first name is clear now we are trying to retrieve the value after clearing the first name so same code we can't use the same variable again so one the execution will be fast what i can do thread dot sleep for 5 second let me execute application launched 
entered the value waiting for 5 seconds cleared the value and you can see the output first name is displayed first name is enabled then the value entered is pranav and the value present in the first name is pranav using the value attribute it retrieved the value then the first name is cleared after clearing the value it is trying to retrieve the first name value it is empty so we completed end to end test case hope you understood how to implement all these five methods that's the end of this video thanks for watching happy learning